What is up, y'all? As you know, I'm the Chihuahua Just, and it's time to give you a little tour around my sneaker room and give you a little glimpse into my personal collection. Ramsey. Now, before we get all the way into it, I'm sure some of you wonder, where did this Chihuahua Just guy actually come from? Hopped right on the scene. Hmm, you're probably wondering what's actually in his shoe collection. So, now you will find out. Let's get right to the good stuff. We're gonna hit up the wall, out the gate. You see what's down here? Citrus 7s. Ironically, they're set to drop again this year. 06 joints. Reason I'm pointing these out is from a time when I could not afford no cool sneakers. I could only look at them. You think my parents was gonna cop me some? No way, Jose. Okay, now let's move up a little bit more. Ben 23s. Oh yes. As we move up, we've got the Complex Con exclusive, the nerds. To show these off for a second, you see one says nerd, the other one says you. First time I seen it, I looked, I said, you nerd. I ran it through my head. Look at me. Glasses, braces, curly hair. Do I look like a sneaker nerd to you? I think so. That's why these had to be in the collection. As we move up, you got the strange loves, the cold hearted killers, nice pink suede, materials so smooth. As we go up, you got the blue lobsters. Can't miss out of the lobster pack. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the other colors in storage, but I did find the blues. Travi joints, can't miss. More Travi joints, I mean, still can't miss. And you know I got flavors, like Ben and Jerry. But does he have variety in his collection? Well, let me ask you this. Do these LeBrons count as variety? The what the MVPs. Basically, one of the best LeBrons ever made. And you know I got the friends and family joints. As we keep it moving, Off-White Volts. Original Vapor Max Off-Whites from the 10. And for some more variety in the collection, check out these old forces. Mm -hmm. You see those? The Huff Quakes. You sure those are a 2006 joint? What you know about these though? Who can name these? If you can name these, drop them in the comments. I'm curious. I ain't even gotta say much. You see these right here? When I was a teenager, me and my homie seen these. We seen the article saying you had to be in Boston to cop them. It gave that exclusive feel like you couldn't get them nowhere else. So you know what that meant? I wanted them even more then. So when I got some money, you know I had to go back and get the raise. Go check these. Not for resale reds. And I got the yellow joints. As you know, I think these were limited to 7,000 pairs. But let's start at the bottom here. You see, we got the candy pack yellows. You will see very shortly, I got a little thing for yellow. Candy pack yellow, not for resale yellow. Original human yellows. I ain't even got to name those. Oh yeah, future of Floms. Keep on going, we got the live strong ones. The Mr. Cartoons. Can't go wrong with the lemonades either. And you got to have these. If you ain't seen these in person, let me tell you something. These little stones, they like little diamonds and they're dancing at all times. More off-whites. But check these, okay? Who you know they got both of these? Shuala just does, okay? One time, little story here. I wore one igloo and one rust pink to sneaker con. The looks I seen people giving me keep it moving come on is it arguably one of the top fours ever made i posted a video of these on tiktok too you couldn't believe how many people i had saying man that colorway is ugly ugly they might not know what these are i guess you can't call these ugly too many details to be calling this shoe ugly i don't want to hear that and you got to have the frags in the collection as well as shatter backboard 1.0s and the 2.0s are really a necessity as well. I got the threes, but they didn't really make the cut for this wall. This is only for like the upper echelon, the creme de la creme. Last over here on the side, we're gonna peep at the bottom. You see, I got the panda pigeons, okay? I'm a little too broke for the gray pigeons. So these, you're just gonna have to do. As we move up, Sean Witherspoon's, what I like to call the corduroy <laughs> killers. We keep it moving. We got one of the best Air Max ones of all freaking time. And the pair of joints, just too clean. I love the design. These had to go in here. We keep it moving. 
more off whites, will you please? What y'all know about these? Who still got dead stock pairs of these? I got these, my size. As much as I love pink, I just ain't pulled them off yet. Somebody need to come with a custom suit. I need something for these to match. Then, I'm gonna bust them out. I ain't even gonna say nothing about these. <laughs> original 10. Original 10. Okay, these ain't original 10, but absolute necessity. And you gotta have at least a pair of Air Yeezys in the collection. I really need the tans and the blinks and all that other good stuff as well. So unfortunately, I'm kind of slacking, but just the Zins right now, they'll have to do. As we move over, you see this row, absolute bangers. Cause four. The original five, I just love the color, well you can't beat them. Up, uh, come on, man. One of the crazier parts about this shoe as well is how many people have tried to buy them off my feet. I might have made the mistake, wore them to sneaker con once or twice and got a few offers, I think of like 3K, something like that. But I'm telling them I ain't selling them because I'm keeping them, gots to. When I mentioned variety earlier, I think these count. Gots to have some Kobe's in the collection or you just ain't got a variety. We got the Think Pinks, we got the Grinches, and we got the freaking Laker away gradients. Not many people got those, but even though they didn't make the special nice case, I got to give an honorable mention to these bad boys, okay? If you don't know what these are, you might want to look them up. You got to be skilled on 2K to get these. These was a 2K exclusive. As you might know, I'm like 6'2", so there's a reason I got the 2K exclusives, because I'm balling on y'all. Cheech and Chong's and the Skunk 420's, which, I paid 420 bucks for years ago before the whole dunk hype blew up. Shout out to my boy Chuby. We were sitting there negotiating on the pair back at Sneaker Con years ago. We said there's only one number that this pair could sell for. So we decided it had to be $420. Can't go wrong with the what the dunks either. As you see, another friends and family lurking in this one. Not many folks got these. Keep that in mind with the split face. A couple more you cannot miss in these cases are the white stone cold, the 97 walk on waters, and the Euro retro ones. See, I don't like wearing white shoes often because I'm scared I'm gonna get them dirty. But when I do decide to pull out some white ones, just know I'm pulling out some nice white ones. Now, as you'll see, I had a tough choice on what goes on the top. So I decided to put three up there. As you'll see, I went with a Travis, a Kanye, and a Virgil. I picked the three sneakers that I felt like, you know, made me think of them the most. They had to be at the top. You can never go wrong with the Red Octobers either, man. They're just a classic. I mean, which one would you pick though? Off-White Chicago's? Red Octobers. Chicago's? Red Octobers. Chicago? Yeah. <laughs> As you see, we got some bangers in these cases behind me, but I just simply couldn't get enough cases to fit all the shoes, at least not in the amount of time I had. If you start looking over this way, what do you see? More shoes. There's tons in here. There is literally so many uncovered gems in this room, I, I didn't have time to show them all. So you know what I'm saying, there's just too freaking many, but let's keep on moving this way. As I move this way, you'll see more sneakers. I'm the shoeologist, that's, that's just what I do. I got more and more and more and more sneakers. I wish I had more sneaker cases though, because I would display a bunch of these crazy beautiful pairs that some of y'all probably haven't even seen before. As we keep on moving over here, there's something that most normal people have in their house, which is one of these bad boys. As you see, it's a closet. I mean, most people, they would store clothes in here, but I, needed more room for sneakers so we blew the doors right off this puppy for ease of access okay as we keep moving through the room you got more shoes and more shoes and even more shoes i mean how many pairs you think's in this room so far and i really only made it like halfway around but it just keeps on going and that's why i'm saying i need more shoe cases and time because putting that little sneaker wall it made me sweat it was a little bit of a workout Okay, and the sneaker cases, they ain't cheap. When you got this many shoes, you end up spending thousands in cases alone. 
the shoes just don't end over here. But I tried to pull out a couple more that needed an honorable mention, like these bad boys. When the last time you seen these Kicks Hawaii Alohas, especially dead stock. And before you go calling out, oh man, why is it laced like that? Because that's how they used to be laced when they came from the store. Don't play me. Like I said, it just doesn't end. You keep looking this way, we got even more. Like say, for example, check these out. Who do you know they got these? Not many people, but the Shuala just does. If we keep moving, you see right here, I got my little chill area. This is where I like, I like to sit sometimes and I'll basically just become one with the sneaker gods and start thinking about what shoe is next. Sometimes your boy likes to get crafty too. And then let's get on this thing right here. I'm not sure how this works. It's kind of like magical in my brain, but seeing it float, seeing the little space in between it, it just butters my biscuit. So, looks like we made it all the way around. Now we're back where we started. I gave you a little glimpse into the creme de la creme and also showed you I got a lot more than that. Makes you wonder, what's in all those other boxes? I mean, it could be anything. There's plenty of other grail pairs out there and I feel like I wanna be a magician in some ways. That I always keep some tricks up the sleeve, which means I'm never gonna show the entire collection at once. This is just a little teaser. So. How was the glimpse of what you've seen? Is it what you thought you'd see in my collection? Maybe drop a rate in the comments, 1 through 10. How much heat was in this bad boy? How much worth of shoes was in this room, though? Let me know in the comments. And also, make sure you're following the Sneaker Channel on everything, because I got big things coming all year long. Appreciate y'all.